China may make territorial claims against Russia and return its historical territories in the Far East, taking advantage of the weakness of the Russian Federation, which is drawn into a war with Ukraine. Part of Russia's territory may become China due to an unfair treaty that was signed during the last Chinese dynasty in the 19th century. This was reported by the Reuters news agency, citing a statement by Taiwanese President Lai Qingde. The president cited the 1858 Treaty of Aigun, under which China handed over a vast tract of land in what is now the Russian Far East to the Russian Empire. Much of the modern border along the Amur River was then formed. China's Qing Dynasty, then in terminal decline, initially refused to ratify the treaty, but it was confirmed two years later by the Convention of Peking. The treaty with Tsarist Russia in one of what China calls unequal treaties with foreign powers in the 19th century. China's intention to attack and annex Taiwan is not caused by what any person or political party in Taiwan says or does. China does not want to annex Taiwan for the sake of territorial integrity. If it is for the sake of territorial integrity, then why doesn't it return the lands occupied by Russia that were handed over under the Treaty of Aigun since Russia is now in the weakest position? Lai said, referring to the war Russia is waging with Ukraine, in which all its troops and forces are involved. It will not be difficult for China to take advantage of Russia's weakness and reclaim its historical lands. The Chinese government claims that Taiwan has been Chinese territory since ancient times. According to the politician, using this logic, China should make similar claims to Russia for the return of its territories. Putin is desperate to import war material from China. That means China now has strong financial leverage over Russia, especially with its gross domestic product, measured by purchasing power parity of $33.71 trillion, almost six times bigger than Russia's $5.78 trillion US dollars. A drone attack was launched on Russia's Moscow region on the night leading to September 1, local telegram channels reported. Ukrainian kamikaze drones targeted an oil refinery in Moscow. As a result of the strike, fire broke out in the plant. Moscow Mayor Sergei Sobjanin said that the drones were shot down and there were no casualties during the attack. About 74 flights were delayed in Moscow airport's Nikovo, Domodedovo and Zukovsky. Temporary restrictions on flights were introduced in the city. Ukraine launched a record number of drone attack across 14 Russian regions with over 100 drones over the night leading to September 1. Только что въебали. Вот, ёбнули. Блядь. Thank you. 